1945, Gen's family lives in Hiroshima, caught between trying to retain a sense of normalcy and the consequences of living through war times such as the heavy rationing of food and frequent air raids, until the inevitable happens. Enola Gay drops an atomic bomb on Hiroshima, causing immense devastation like hell on earth. It is with Gen's resistance to the destruction and his adamant persistence to move onward that he and his mother can begin to rebuild their lives. This is Mori Masaki's adaptation of Keiji Nekazawa's loosely autobiographical manga series Barefoot Gen, an animated film focusing on the days before and after the bombing of Hiroshima, the film's narrator contextualising the film's events, adding a layer of historic truth and authenticity. Barefoot Gen does not shy away from the horrific consequences war has on the citizens caught in the middle, with a staunchly anti-war stance and message established very early on as Gen and his younger brother Shinji mock the nationalistic songs of people marching in the streets, as well as their father suggesting that he is not patriotic because he cannot support a war that does more damage than good. Barefoot Gen serves as a testament to human resilience, as well as a haunting cautionary warning from the past to not allow such events to unfold again. Gen, a young boy, is taught by his father, while tilling the fields of wheat, that wheat is a strong and persistent grain, surviving the hardships of winter and ready for harvest during the summer. Gen's father teaches him this message of resilience, which Gen learns from, often acting selflessly and responsibly, putting others' needs before his own. This is apparent early on when Gen fetches the doctor for his pregnant mother, who was suffering from malnutrition and fatigue due to a lack of food. This sense of selfless action, as well as the kindness of neighbours, is also reflected in other characters, such as when a friendly neighbour offers Gen's family rice, giving it to his older sister Aiko. The narrator, as well as Gen's father, establish a lack of trust in the Japanese leaders fighting a losing war, and suggests that war provides little protection for the general population. Barefoot Gen therefore suggests that the real survival doesn't come from life ruining war, but from the human resilience and kindness of those around us, giving benefit to others before taking benefit for ourselves. This is further reinforced after the significant turning point within the film, the bombing of Hiroshima, a heavily distressing sequence as people burn to a crisp, eyes melt and pop buildings warp and collapse. The drop of the atomic bomb on Hiroshima caused the air pressure to drop instantly, leading to such a horrific outcome on the human body. This sequence captures effectively the devastating hell that was brought to Hiroshima, 1945. This sequence is intended to be horrifying and memorable, serving as a terrifying cautionary historic lesson to not allow this type of destruction to happen again. Innocent lives were taken for a war they had no part in. While Gen survives the blast, many Many others are not lucky, either dead or severely burned, in a state of constant pain and suffering. Families and friends lost, livelihoods destroyed, Gen loses his father, sister and brother to engulfing flames as they are trapped underneath the rubble of their home, when Gen and his mother are unable to help. Their tendency to help others, unable to help their own family, it is difficult not to feel a fraction of their pain. A tragic point of no return, yet Gen's resilience perseveres as he continues to put the needs of other people before his own. He gathers supplies necessary for his mother to give birth, helping to deliver the birth of his little sister. He and his mother adopt a young boy, Ryuta, all alone in his search for food. Gen and Ryuta are hired to look after a family's uncle affected by radiation sickness so they can afford to buy milk for their little sister. Therefore, reinforced throughout the film, human survival comes down to other people people helping other people, the kindness of neighbours and the resilience of human spirit. Gen's human spirit is not easily dashed, reinforced whenever he is harassed by the cynicism of another family's uncle, the cold nature of the man likely an effect of suffering with isolation and prejudice. Why show kindness when others fail to reciprocate it? His sister-in-law expresses a deep disdain for his continued existence struggling with radiation sickness, and his nieces observe him from a distance, like a side show for their own titillation. Reinforcing this, Erika Hayasaki discusses the prejudice that survivors of the atomic bomb experienced, writing that the survivors of the atomic bomb, known as Hibaksha, often found themselves shunned in Japanese society, viewed as contagious or abnormal. Some hid their Hibaksha status from their own family members or pledged to never speak of the bomb for fear of discrimination or alienation. This uncle within the care of Gen and Ryuta, suffering from the prejudice of his family, treated less than human for having experienced and survived an atrocity, has therefore become cynical and critical of the world.
world. It is with Gen and Ryuta's positive, persistent influence that this man finds a new lease on life, rekindling his love for art, at the encouragement of Gen and Ryuta for him not to give up, therefore overcoming the sense of isolation and the bitterness of prejudice that was initially bringing him down. Gen's attitude, much like the persistence of the wheat field surviving through the seasons, is a life-affirming and inspiring perspective to hold. Despite all the horrors this young boy has experienced, he keeps his head high and intends to rebuild what once was. Barefoot Gen Nethos serves as a reminder of the strength of human perseverance and resilience. In conclusion, Mori Masaki's Barefoot Gen, while serving as a devastating historic lesson on the terrible consequences of atomic warfare and war on innocent lives, also manages to encapsulate the powerful nature of humanity, the persistence to continue forward no matter what obstacles life throws in the way. As Hiroshima rebuilt itself and life flourished there once again, there is a life-affirming reinforcement of the truth that if there's a will, there's a way. Thank you.